Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I have this makeup look that I just finished filming right now. But, I... Hold on. I wanted to call this like a Valentine's Day look. Something that you could wear out during the day with your girlfriend, with your man, with your girlfriend, whoever. But... I ended up getting this. It looks like a New Year's Eve look. Like I'm going out to a club with the glitter and everything. I think it's so pretty. I think you could definitely pull it off um, Valentine's Day night. Like if you're going out to a nice dinner or whatever, you could definitely rock this. If you're wearing something sexy or... I mean, I would wear this with a t-shirt and jeans, but that's just me. <laughs> it's been a minute since I have... It's been a minute since I have, you know, like, filmed a makeup look this good, I think. I don't, I don't know. I'm just so excited. 2018, I really want to get back into makeup. I'm doing it, you guys. This is the first one of 2018, and I'm going out with a bang. So, if you guys have any requests, send them to me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is always linked in the description. Ow! My Snapchat is always linked in the description as well as all my other social media accounts so that you guys can send me your ideas or whatever and I can get to doing them. Um, also, let me know your makeup favorites or some of the things that I should pick up whether it's at the drugstore or at Ulta or Sephora or whatever because my makeup pretty much went bad. Like nothing is good anymore so I have to start again from the bottom and create my, my collection again because the whole year that I was pregnant, I never wore makeup, so it just it went to shit. So I'm gonna have to start buying stuff to review for you guys. I cannot wait. Let me know what your makeup must-haves are, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't mind my hot Cheeto fingers. Um, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah. So going right in, I'm going to start off with my Benefit Professional Matte Primer. And then I'm also going to go in with my Hawaiian Tropics Hydration Serum. And I'm going to apply that all over my face. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to rub that in between my fingers and all over my eyelids. As well as under my eyes. Now to set that primer, I'm going to use this Creme Brulee Eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. And I'm going to apply that with a fluffy brush all over my eyelid. And this is where the ghost decided to join me. <laughs> but now going into the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go in with MFEO. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. So I'm just going to apply that into my um, crease, above my crease. And then I'm going to grab, uh, what is this color? Roxanne. And I'm going to apply that a little bit lower and then I'm going to grab a more precise brush and just add that into my crease as well. But like I said, lower than MFEO. And you just want to make sure that that color is blended really good. And then I'm going to go in with Hunt and Jax. But I'm going to make sure that I use Hunt a little bit more because I wanted that red to really pop out. So focusing more on Hunt, I'm going to apply that onto my outer corner with a big fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to cut my crease using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and a small precision brush. You basically just want to go along the natural crease of your eye. If you have a smaller lid, then you can always like um, overdo or over overline your crease, if that makes any sense. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my daughter in the background. But I'm also going to end up tapping in that concealer with my fingers. And that also seems to help a lot. The next color I'm going to go in with is Sissy. And I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus just to intensify that color and make it pop just the way that I want it to. I'm going to go back in with Hunt and Jax on the outer corner just because I did blend some of that away as I was applying Sissy. But you just want to go back and forth and build up these colors the way that you want to. Getting into my waterline, I'm going to use the NYC Black Eyeliner and then I'm going to prepare my lashes. But before I do any of that, I'm going to apply the glitter 
just to give these lashes a second to dry I'm gonna use this Revlon Eye Art glitter pen and I'm going to apply the golden glitter onto the inner third of my eye and then I'm going to struggle to put on lashes now for my face I'm using the wet n wild foundation I'm not sure what shade I'm in but if you guys want to know, just let me know and I'll comment or I'll leave it down below in the description box. I'm going to blend all of that out as I always do. Make sure you blend it down to your neck. Make sure that everything is all one color. For my concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. And I'm going to apply that down my nose and under my eyes and I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. To set all of that concealer, I'm going to use my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm going to apply that to my under eyes, down the center of my nose, my forehead and my chin just to control the oiliness. I'm going to go ahead and do one brow on camera and the other one off. I'm going to go ahead and powder all of my face with a Revlon Compact Face Powder. And for my bronzer, I'm going to use the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones. Really bring that towards the edge of my face just because I want to look 20 pounds lighter. You know how to do it? You know, you know. And then I'm also going to apply that to my temples just so that I look like a bronze goddess. For my blush, I'm going to use the Too Faced Your Love is King blush and I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and drag it towards the back. My daughter was pushing a little while ago to go number two. <laughs> Excuse her, but I'm going to go in with MAC's Other Earthly Highlighter and I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Going back in with Jax and uh, what was the other color? Jax and Hunt. I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. But right here I'm applying Hunt and then I'm going to use Jax which is a little bit darker with a smaller precision brush. And I'm going to put that right on my lash line just to deepen up the lower lash line. I'm also going to tight line in a second. And then I'm going to apply my mascara. And this is when I started feeling myself. <laughs> Who else struggles this much to pick a lip color? I know I'm not the only one. I went through several to pick this shade and I ended up using a ColourPop liquid lipstick. I think it's in the shade Truffle, I'm not sure. But if you guys want to know, again, just ask me and I will let you guys know. But that about does it for this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you guys are going to go get this next for Valentine's Day. Or if you would use it for whatever you want to use it for. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys!